test week. It's 1.20 in the morning. I don't even try to go to sleep because I know that when I wake up I'm going to be so itchy. Tomorrow night is going to be the most difficult not having a shower because the shower gets rid of the itch off my face and my neck and I'm absolutely dreading it and if I could just stay asleep I would. And I know it's all for a good purpose but it's so scary because I, I tried it the other week as a tester it was really really bad I couldn't do anything for four hours up till two o'clock and it finally went off at two o'clock after scratching since like nine one of these patches around here is already starting to itch that one is itching actually the most I'm, I'm, I'm so nervous about tomorrow night and I can't wait for Wednesday to see if there's anything already come up that I'm allergic to. I can feel that some of the patches are at the top, or maybe not the patches but the tape, the very top of the tape has come off and I hope that hasn't uh, affected anything. I hope it's going to be okay. Because he said that if it does come off I'm then going to have to wait another couple of weeks and I can't I can't go, I can't go any longer without steroids or something to stop the itching because it's getting too much. The possibility of relief is the only thing that's keeping me going. I can't explain how bad it is but I can't bear any more of this. 2am, my hands are really itchy, more than anything on my back. My back's not itchy at all, but the most itchy part is one of these patches, the middle patch. There's three on my arm and the middle patch is really itchy and driving me insane. It actually feels like the same kind of itch that's on my face, which is really interesting because I have been saying that the itch on my hands feels very different to the itch on my face. The fact that they've managed to recreate the exact same feeling on my arm here, which I've never had before, as what's on my face. Oh my gosh. It's really, really dumb. I don't know if I'm even going to go to sleep with that, and that's only this is only the first night. But yeah, the the fact that they've got that means that now we'll know the exact cause, surely, of what's on the face by knowing what's under this patch here, the middle one. parts of me is that right there, that patch, and um, something here, oh really itchy actually, if I, if I touch it, it's just, I can't bear it, can't really touch it, but just right about here, and I'm trying to decide whether I want to scratch my face for three hours or try and have a shower, a really awkward shower. If I don't scratch and just try and go to sleep with the itch still there, I could end up itching in my sleep and then wake up in the middle of the night. And also, I'm, now I'm really afraid of scratching my back whilst I sleep. 
I didn't get to sleep until about four. I was woken up by being really hot at half seven. So I opened the window and then this bird scarer gunshot machine to scare off the birds was going from 8 a.m. and that goes all day. <laughs> that stopped me from sleeping through the day. So I'm very tired and I've been in the sun just trying to get a tiny bit of UV rays, which helps you to get to sleep. I was too scared to stay in the sun because if I do, it'll make me really hot and make my skin oil up, which is great because it stops it from being dry. But then whatever's in the oil, my skin is reacting to. And as I'm talking right now, that's really itching and do my nutting. So I can't wait to take it off and I can't wait to find out what it is. And that's, that's like bothering me, but that's definitely the worst part. But actually that, that looks better. I haven't eaten yet today at five o'clock because I'm trying to leave it till the last part of the day because when I eat the itch goes less and maybe if I eat and then go straight to bed it might help me to go to sleep but I'm just afraid that I'm going to scratch in the night if I do that and then wake up covered in blood and then have to have a shower because otherwise it won't go because when I, when I itch in my sleep the only thing that gets rid of it when I then wake up is by putting water on and scraping all, all the stuff off I've got the blinds closed to stop the sun coming in because the heat's making me itch and then that just creates more of a chance of my face itching and last night I forgot to say I really let myself down because I just hadn't eaten all day and from doing all the being really careful and barely eating in the days before I ended up just messing it all up last night binging on loads of tortilla chips that we got in and I hope that's not going to affect me in the next couple of days and make me even more likely to have to have a shower. But we'll see how it goes. Overall, I'm feeling really positive though, because I think there's a possible drug coming on the way that's gonna help me at least get rid of the itching and the pain. And then, once I've done that, once I can live properly within the world, I'll then be able to work and whilst I'm doing that, I can keep you know, keep an automatic email being sent out to doctors, finding the ones that will get rid of my sensitivities. And I can't wait for that.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 